There's another way to um, position things on the screen, and that's using uh, a method called absolute positioning. So uh, let's take a look at how we do that, basically replicating what we've done with a float here. So we're going to take the float out of the aside. Um, we've done that. Hold on. Let me refresh this. So we've taken the float out of the aside. And now I'm going to make this to be positioned absolute. What that means is that I can tell it exactly where on the screen I want it to show up, give it the coordinates for that. So we want it to show up below the header. So when we have all the margin and everything added in, it's probably somewhere around 250 pixels from the top. And then from the right side of the screen, we want it to be, I'm guessing, about 100 pixels in. Now again, if I'd taken the time, I could have measured that out. But the faster way to do it is just to eyeball it and come pretty darn close. And I could then use um, Firebug to tweak this a little bit uh, and make put it right where it needs to be. Um, let's uh, grab the sidebar. And then we can just bring it up to, say, 220 or 210. There we go. And then move it over just a, a little bit um, to the right. And so maybe make it not quite 100 pixels over, but closer to, say, 80 pixels. And there we go. Um, so I'll transfer those over, 80 and 210, to the actual code. Um, 210. And 80, just a reminder, when you fix it in Firebug, it doesn't do anything. You have to change it in the code itself. And now when I refresh it, bingo, it's right there. And it does just what we'd expect it to. Now, there are problems with both of these. And, and you can use this, by the way, to put things anywhere on the page. So I could actually put it something like left uh, 210 and top 510 and refresh it. And it would drop it like right here in the middle. So you can use it to put things anywhere on the page along with a property called Z index. You can decide which pieces are on top of which other pieces. Uh, but generally speaking, you kind of can use it to position one piece and, and use it instead of a float. There are problems with this approach as well. Um, one of the things we find out with all kinds of positioning on the web uh, using CSS is that there are difficulties in doing it any way you want to do it. Some people are pining for the table layouts that people used before CSS. Um, and there might be a bit of a compromise now with the new versions of CSS. We'll talk about that next.